Hello everyone! Welcome back to more Let's Play Downfall, the original. So, uh, we killed two Sophies. That's nice. So that just means we have one more. Let's see, we haven't seen the dock in a while. I wonder if there's something we can do now. Pull a lever! Nothing happened. Okay, great. Uh, I'd rather not, unless I see a good reason to do it. Alright, um... Oh yeah, there was a mannequin! Uh, can we add to the mannequin? Oh my god, you son of a bitch game. Come on, I did it so flawlessly last time. What is your problem now? Game, I'm starting to really hate you. What the fuck? Come on! Come on! Oh my god, you son of a bitch game. You son of a bitch! You weren't having trouble last time! I remember you weren't having trouble! Oh, I can't even read the fucking letter now. Uh-huh. Can we take the shit now? Oh, there we go, Joe! You fucking asshole! Get over here. You asshole. This game. This fucking game. Alright, let's see. Can we do anything? Leave that thing alone! It's not a bloody toy to play with. Alright, fine. What do you want, asshole? Ah, you're a good boy. I am? What do you want me to do? There seems to be something wrong with the electricity. You see, I need all the power this shitty hotel can produce to bring my golem to life. You'll need to activate the backup generator. Oh, that's right, that's what we need to do. This type of generator is used, usually kick in when the power's off, but this one. This one's old piece of junk. You have to switch it on manually. Where's that generator again? I'm not sure. But that woman from reception sure does. Crazy bitch. She wouldn't let me use it. She's also got a key that activates the generator. Try speaking to her if you can't find her. Be careful, there's something wrong with her. Something very wrong. Alright. Alright, I forgot completely all about that, I'm not gonna lie. Get out! Good grief. Alright, ground floor. Let's call her. Get her ass over here. Eh, I could've figured. Uh, let's see. Oh, chicken here and nothing happened. Not really. All right, let's check out the toilet lounge. See if any people are in here. Four little birds. Four birds with heads chopped off? Oh my god! You and me, Joe, we're alike. We have killing in our blood, don't we? But you ain't getting any further. Shut the fuck up, phone. No. He made me write on this walls with his own blood so it would, be, so it would not be forgotten. And once the devil comes, he stays forever. Oh! Are you ready to be the devil? No! Oh shit, it's that guy again! Get the fuck out of here! Run, 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 run. Agnes, if you stay behind and die, that's your own fault. That's not my fault in any shape or form. Um, let's see. Oh, we're in one. God damn it. Uh, three? Uh, that's where these guys were. I don't think we have any purpose in here. Ah. Hello again, Mr. Davis. I never thought you'd get so far. So we meet again, but this time you'll give me some answers. Oh, and then there's this. The exact same quote from the remake. But I've already told you everything you need to know. And still, you're blaming me for what happened? You should have warned us. You should have told us to leave. Mr. Davis, I'm running a business here. I can't just tell my guests to leave now, can I? That would be so utterly rude. So, are you responsible for this then? 
No, it's the hotel. It's playing with your head. It wants you to believe that this is real. It wants you to die and stay here forever. And I should kill you right here and right now for all you've done to us. Then do it, Mr. Davis. No, that won't change anything. I might as well let you live. <laughs> I never expected to hear that from the mouth of such a ruthless killer. And we both know you've spilt some blood today. You're such a naughty little boy. Very, very naughty. And there will be even more blood. How do you know? This isn't real. This isn't real. All I killed is ghosts. Oh, if you say so. But doesn't it feel like we're all ghosts anyway? Like we've always been only dead souls that seek redemption. Lost and frightened. Lonely and confused. I used to be very lonely a long time ago. But nobody came. I waited and waited. And the world as I remembered it went missing. The loneliness and confusion made everything go black and white and gray. And red, too. I could see red blood pumping in my veins every time I looked at my arm. I could see the ghosts hidden in the walls. They spoke to me. They said, We are waiting for you. In our cold arms, you will be happy again. So, what happened? I climbed on a stool, put a rope around my neck, and jumped. It was beautiful. No need to say it happened in this very room. Yes, it's always been my favorite. Alright, I need to really know about the backup generator. That's game progress, I imagine. The doctor said he, you will know. The doctor? He's been playing you all along. He needs you to do some chores for him, run here and there. But what he really needs for you is... A fresh brain for his final project. He never told you that, did he? <laughs> Clever old rat, and to think you actually believed him. What? This can't be. Didn't we already give him a brain? Oh yes, Mr. J Mr. Davis. The doctor is not a good man. He is a cheating old bastard who wants to use you and then kill you. How do I know if you're not the one lying to me as well? If you're not the one lying. Well, you can't. But I could tell you one thing. There is no backup generator in this hotel. There's never been one. If you go and tell him about it now, he'll say there is another way to pr produce an extra power for his machine. And this other way will be to use the storm to his advantage. He'll ask you to go up to the roof and stick an iron bar in the machine he placed there a long time ago. Because he always knew. And if he says something else, he won't. But if he does, you can find me and do to me what you did to poor old Sophie if you wish. Hmm. How to get to the roof? I suppose I could show you. I don't know why, but I like you. Let's play a little game. You'll have to follow me. I'll leave some clues for you. Clues? Yes. Who knows? Maybe you will get more than you bargained for. I've been alone for a very, very long time, Mr. Davis. I'm going to do you a favor. You're not going to be ungrateful, are you? Just show me the way to the roof. Oh, you're so boring and cold. I'm not surprised your wife wanted to, wanted to leave you. That's not your business. Shut up. Sides. Never mind. Think about it. And tell me when you're ready. Bye. Oh, so we get a little backstory on uh, the receptionist. She killed herself because the hotel said it would be nice. Alright. I'll just leave it there. It's the belt she was wearing. Alright. Imagine she's telling us to go to the lift. But according to the guide, it says go back to the doctor and talk to him. Which sounds good to me. Ah! You're a good boy. I've talked to receptionist. There is no generator here. No backup generator? What the hell are we going to do now? We need more energy! We need it now! 
Okay, calm down, Thomas. Calm down. Oh, your name is Thomas? Cool. There must be some other way. Why don't you admit that all along? You just wanted my brain for one of your six experiments? I thought we gave him the brain already, so that wouldn't make sense. Uh... Well, have you got any ideas, Doc? What should we do now? Give me a second, boy! I'm thinking! How about if we... No, that's stupid. Maybe, but it'd never work. We need to produce more power. I could then charge the re res Resurrector's battery. Yes! It will give us more than enough power to, if we manage to trap it somehow. But how are we going to do that? Ah, it's like all the pieces of a jigsaw puzzle falling into places at once. See, I've got this old cable running up to the roof. Ah! I've forgotten all about it, but now it can prove useful. Take this walkie-talkie. Find some iron bar and stick it on the roof where the cable's going. But let me know if everything you do, it... Before you do it, I have to switch everything on first. Just talk to me at the walkie-talkie first when you're ready. Yes, I knew that tonight was the night. Doc, I think I've seen this on the film before. Well, did it work? Well, yeah, but... What are we waiting for, then? Aha! You're a good boy. Alright. Well, the reception said... Technically, no lie. So we got the walkie-talkie, though. Alright. Alright. Um... Let's go to the first floor. Looking for clothes, mostly. Bathroom towel. Was that there before? I don't remember. Um... Looking for clothes. I mean, we found the blouse. Staircase! I'm out of here! Oh, I'm gonna leave you alone, buddy! I forgot you were all right there, and still there, in fact! Ho oh, ho! I'm not dealing with you right now. It's not really my size. Well, get the fuck over here, Joe. God damn, Joe. It's her boot, okay. Having the skirt on me would be rather difficult to explain to Ivy. If I manage to save her, that is. Her skirt, red as blood. Ah, oh, just like the uh, remake. The passageway through the kitchen. It's of no use to me. It's definitely hers. Let's go through the freezer. I'll just leave it alone. Alright, fair enough. Agnes, you've been kind of quiet this whole time. How are you feeling? Yeah, same old, same old, I suppose. It's her stalking. She must have come through here. Alright. Okay. Can you stay here, Agnes? This is something I must do alone. I've been following you all this time, and now you want to dump me in this room full of bodies? No way! You'll be fine. I promise I'll come back for you. Alright. But just so you know, I'm not happy about it. Yeah, I'm not happy about you being my Agnes. Wait, wait. Mannequin? I think? Nice. Let's see. Got something. Leg, head, and leg. Don't... Oh, chair. I to sit on the floor. Creepy looking ass chair. Alright, I guess we can go through the door. You took your time, Mr. Davis. But you're here now, in my secret bedroom, where everything can happen. Why won't you come closer? Are you scared? Oh, this music! <laughs> Kind of an interesting choice for a horror game. I I just want to find the way to the roof. I don't care about titties. Only that? I thought we had a special connection. No, I really don't care what you thought. Really? 
Well, I must have been wrong then when I thought you looked at my breasts rather than my face. Well, he's a man. That's kind of instinctual. Because you wouldn't, would you? You didn't examine them, did you? Oh, and I had hoped you'd hold me in your strong arms and slowly kiss my dead cold lips. Ah, so you're definitely not real. Well, you goddamn know I can't because I love my wife! Mr. Davis, she will never know. I thought she was dead anyway. She's not. It's you who's dead. True, but I'm right here right now. And where is she? Can't you see that she's controlling you? Clever little girl. The love you gave her, it was never truly returned. You've been fooling yourself for years. And me? Well, let's just say you won't regret this, my dear. I... You should ask yourself a question. Do you really love that crazy, paranoid wife of yours? With her foul mouth that spits out poison? No respect for you and everything you've gone through? All she gave you was grief and embarrassment. Was she really ill? Or maybe she was just making a fool of you. Don't you dare! Fine. One more thing, though. In the letter she said she was leaving you. How do you know about the letter? It's right here in my pocket! I just know. And I want to help you. Let's see. I think let's go with this one. Let's say this. I think I'll pass. It's not you, it's that blood-stained bed that puts me off. Yeah! That would put anybody off a little. I understand. Your love to your wife is greater than temptation. I shall respect that. The second door will take you to the roof. And if you go, don't look back. Now it's time for you to decide. Did her boobs just jiggle? So what's going? What's it going to be? Passion or loyalty? It's decision time now. Let's see. Kiss her. Leave her. What are these images? I think that's a face. Can't tell what that is though. But whatever. Uh, let's go with loyalty since let's do kind of the opposite of what we did. I have to go. Thanks for your help. So you're just going to leave me? You fucking idiot! You turn me down like this? Me? Yeah. Sorry. Go to hell! I think I'm already there. I'm done with her. It's better if I leave her alone now. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. There aren't any switches or buttons on it. Huh, that would be bad. Can I move over? No. Can I move over here? Uh, Alright. Let's use the walkie talkie, I guess. Hey Doc, it's me. I'm about to place the bar in the machine. Are you ready? Okay then, let's start this thing. Um, hmm. Oh, use the crowbar? I better hide before- Oh, shit! It's alive! <laughs> it's alive! Come closer, beautiful one. Don't be afraid. Come and meet your master, yes! I am also your father, in some ways. There is no need to be shy. Don't hide it from me. I understand it. you are confused, but I will explain everything if you only give me some time. What are you doing? Stop it! I said stop it! You naughty little thing. You are- Stop it! That was the girliest scream I've ever heard from a guy. Oh. Oh. Uh, 
That was a lucky fall. I think I'm still in one piece. But I doubt the doctor is. Yeah, uh, let's see what he has to say about it, if he can. Yeah, I think the doctor might be dead, kitty. But let's make sure. Oh dear. Gonna really sit on it. Oh, get a book. Let's look at it. It's a copy of Mein Kampf. Or perhaps an original? It's all in German, but I found a photograph between pages. Alright, let's look. Dear God, this man must be some kind of neo Nazi! Yeah, because all Germans are part of wanting to be Nazis. Why on earth would he keep a picture of Hitler saluting the crowds? You and me both, buddy. Oh, exit. Let's see. If I get this right, switching this thing on would bring the person in the chair back to life. It would be pointless to do it now. Oh, mannequin. She's only going to tell me off. Not that I care, but moving the mannequin won't do any good anyway. Door's torso. Can you add shit to it? Hey, we can add shit to it. Oh, I don't have all the pieces, I don't think. Uh oh, I don't have all the pieces. Some body parts missing. Oh dear, take the toast as an arm. No, okay, fair enough. It's already switched on, I have no use for a battery. Um, it's a Alright. Let's see if we can pick up Agnes. Agnes! Agnes! Uh, actually, where was Agnes again? Oh, in the kitchen, yeah, with that secret area. Huh, so far I'm not sure how I feel about this game. Or at least about this version. I feel very... meh about it. Like, a lot of it's similar to the remake. I mean, kudos to that for making all, a lot of the stuff work. Go with me! Is she still in here? Hey, here's a door. Ooh, you go in. Ah, it's this room. There's no fire. Well, let's make a fire. Let's use the toast. <laughs> use toast on the thing. And there's room 666, but... Hmm, okay. Hmm. A little stumped. Ooh, wait. Is it on the lock? No. Is this on the lock? You know, logically speaking, this would work, okay? Use the fish. Okay, no. Okay. Woman's still dead. Blouse is still there. Um. Let's go back to the doctor's area. Maybe there's something I can do. Pull the lever. Nothing happened. Um, hmm. Oh! Hey, I can move the legs. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Alright. 
Nice. Alright, I'm reading how to... I'm reading how to do that. What to do next. Assemble the mannequin, okay. Oh, lift up the right arm. Oh, okay. I was kind of fucking around, but okay, apparently that's right. And to flip this arm. I uh, know. There's a lever here, Joe. Fuck. Get out of my way. Okay. Secret passage. Let's go in. I know I've carried human heads around with me, but I really don't think this arm would be of much use. I don't know, you never know. You need an extra arm for something. Capsule. I don't know how to open this thing. Besides, I don't really want to. Alright, fair enough. Swastika. I'm gonna take it down and rip it apart. But I've got more important things on my mind right now. Chainsaw! My god. I shouldn't take this. I shouldn't. Because I fear I will use it. But so beautiful. So tempting. It's seeking your name, Ivy. Whoa, what? Whoa, why does he say his wife's name? That was kind of creepy. Ooh, a leg. I've got two of my own. Shotgun shells, shotgun shells, shotgun shells. And there's the dock! He's dead. He won't talk to me no more. Maybe it's better. Dead body parts? I don't know what to do with them. Alright, fair enough. Alright. What to do? Surprisingly, Agnes is still with us. I thought we might have lost her with the thing killing us. Or a... That... Get the fuck out, Joe. Thank you. For that, uh, golem on our way. Oh, I think there's something wrong with it. It wouldn't open from inside either. Not that there's anything important there. Actually, do you think that would end my dream if I returned to where it started? Oh, this is the room you were locked in? Oh. No idea. Maybe. But you never know unless we open it somehow. My chances are slim. Don't worry about it too much. I'm not really that fussed. It was just a thought. Oh, so that's the door you got locked in. Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, is there anything to do around here? Get more beer. You can never have enough. I want to drink some more. Joe, drink some. Alright. Fine, I don't need it. Shopping cart. Alright, fair enough. What's this now? Fridge. Alright. Alright, I'm pretty sure there's nothing else for me to take here. I don't think. You guys still having a party? Oh, you guys are having a good time. That's awesome. Yeah, I never liked the birthday girl. She kind of sucked. I mean, she always wanted to get bigger for some dude. I mean, pff, she was trying way too hard, if you ask me. Mm-hmm. Alright. Here's these. Pot of pills! Huh. Can't reach it. Uh, use the shotgun on it. Uh, use the regular gun. Use a syringe. Okay. I am being stupid. Use a fish. Aw. Use a beer. It needs beer. Okay. Alright, I'm just being dumb. Alright, let's see. Alright, so it's telling me to go to floor four. Floor four. 
It's locked. Now use your room key. When I'm on on the lock to push the key on the side. Menu. Alright. A menu? Did I get a menu? Um... Hmm. Saying the menu. Do I use toast? What menu? Did I miss something? Alright, uh... It said to use the menu. I mean, I have a card. What do you mean it's not the right size? Alright, I am a little confused. I don't have a menu. And I can't do anything with that. Uh, let me get down to the kitchen and see if there's a menu. There's gotta be a menu. It's a kitchen, right? Hmm. If I don't find out, I might pause and find out what I'm supposed to do. Alright, I'm going to take a quick pause and see what I am missing, because apparently I'm missing something. So I'll be right back when I find it. Okay, here's the fucking menu. Jesus Christ. How is this? How, how? That was like the exact same... Ugh, whatever. Whatever, game. Whatever. You do you, game. I'm not even bother anymore, because why? Put it in the gap, Joe. God. Stop being such a picky bitch. I put the leaflet under the door. What next? Apparently it says to put your key on it. What? My key seems to be able to fit into this lock. It won't turn, but I can hear that key on the other side of the door has been pushed out and fell on the leaflet. Excellent. Give me the leaflet. There it is. Got the key. Nice. Alright. Sophie. We meet again. I'm not here to play with dolls. It's been pinned to the wall with a couple of metal bolts. It's a baby elephant doll. It's been... Cello tape to the wall. Alright. She won't talk to you, Joe. It's too late for her. She's in the world of anger and hatred now. That murderous bitch. Oh, the dog is talking to me. Okay. She's always been a cruel one. A young lass like this. She should burn in hell, Joe. Yes, there is no room for her in the world of the living. You know what to do, Joe. We've been waiting a long time for you to turn up. But the judgment day has finally come. Tear her to pieces, my boy. For all those hours when she's cut my dead body with the razors. For burning me with a lighter. For leaving me in the dark cupboards for months. For taking the eye out with a kitchen fork. For sticking dirty needles in my head. Kill her! Kill her! Kill her! 
and make it a cruel death, as she deserves nothing less than the worst kind of suffering. Cut through her ugly body, let us all find that there's no heart inside. Split her in half, Joe! Oh, pff, really? I had to make me go through that again? Split her in half, and as the skin splits, her wicked soul will split as well. Alright. Hey, there's a fan. If it, this fan were- the room would stick like a public toilet. Alright. Let's use the chainsaw. What the fuck was the gun for, then? We got shotgun with shotgun shells, and we haven't used it yet. What's the point of it? Well, lo and behold, this fourth Sophie is dead. Where's Agnes? Oh, fucking Christ, Agnes. Don't do that! This has been going on for far too long. I've become a ruthless killer. And hope that it's not too late. Ah, lighting a cigarette, huh? Oh, she smokes too? Okay, fine, whatever. Yeah, all taking our final final cigarette. We killed them all. All four in memories. Now we should find my wife and hope that it's not too late. Alright. Uh, okay, I have no idea where to go. And that means I'm cheating. Go to the staircase with the dining room. Oh, can I use my shotgun on the guy? Is that what it's there for? Maybe. Oh, wait. Yeah, maybe that's what it means. Get up the fucking stairs, please. Okay. Turn to murder this asshole. I have my shotgun. Use it on him! No, use it on him, you fucking idiot! Are you stupid? Oh my god, are you stupid, you fucking idiot! Use it on the X-Man! Well... Oh. Ha. Huh. <laughs> That's one way to kill. <laughs> okay, that's one way to shoot a gun. He's dead at last. Alright, so I guess I could have killed him earlier. But I didn't know, but I wasn't thinking that straight. Alright. Is there anything over here? Just the vase. Being a vase. With dead flowers. Alright, whatever. Wait. Are you- Are you going in there? I have to. This is the end of the road. Oh, okay. But- Joe, I think I'll stay here. This is all too much for me. You've done well so far. Why quit now? You're going to save your wife now. You are the hero here, not me. I'm just some person having a strange dream. And I can't stop thinking that it's your strange dream. I'm just passing through, you know? Well, it's been a nice dream. It's been nice dreaming with you, Agnes. I hope we'd meet each other again sometime, when we were awake. <laughs> Who knows, maybe we will. But I must wake up now. There's something... something I must do. Yeah, I understand. Goodbye, and thanks for opening that gate for me. You just couldn't work that one by yourself, could you? You're welcome, Joe. It's time for the both of us. Goodbye, Joe. Bye.
Oh, is it that skinny one who wanted to be big? It's you. You again. What do you want from me? It's the last time our paths cross. I'm going to smash you into pieces if it's the only way I can save Ivy. So goodbye to your sick little world, Sophie. This is our final battle. And it's time for you- Time for you to die. For good. Whoa! Ew! What the fuck? Um, I got a gun. Shoot the gun. I can't. Um, what do I do? What do I do? Shotgun! Give me the shotgun! Yeah! Return of the shotgun! Use it on Sophie. Oh, you son of a bitch. No, don't read this. We don't have time for that. It's you. Again, what do you- Shut up, Joe! We don't care! Whoa, what the hell happened? Why is it repeating itself? What happened? What did I do? Reload the shotguns. Kill Sophie! Kill her some more! Kill her some more! I'm gonna kill her for good this time! Die, you stupid bitch! Just die! <sighs> Shoot two shells at the same time, making an extremely powerful weapon. Of course, the barrel is empty. Aha! So I need to reload, okay. Give me the fucking gun. Oh my god. Alright, that worked. Why do I have two shotguns? What's going on? A specific spot. Oh, good grief. Okay. Slowly and surely. Pick up the gun, Joe. Stop with your fucking dialogue. Okay, I'm a little confused. I've shot it. Where else am I supposed to shoot it at? <laughs> Keys the box. Oh my god, I can still activate that? That's funny. Oh, I died. Oh shit, I haven't saved either. Alright, well, time to load. Uh, I will be back when we get to that <laughs> situation. I did not know I would have to save, but okay. Uh, I'll be back. Alrighty, here we go. Again. Time to fight this fucker. And kill it. For the last time. Joe, seriously. Cho. Reload. Takes you forever to fucking reload. Oh my god, you son of a bitch! Get a gun! Shoot it! Shoot it in the face! Come on, hurry up. Take the fucking gun! You son of a bitch! Give me. I don't have time for you. I need to kill you. Fast. It only takes forever to get done. Kill you. Kill you. Shoot you. Shoot you in the head. And I 
drop my gun. Alright, that's fine. Yes, you can, you fucking idiot! Don't say you can't fucking use it! Are you stupid? Joe! Jesus Christ, I'm questioning your brain usage. Jesus Christ. Like, your dead brain cells are killing mine. That's how bad it is. There we go. We murdered Sophie. Thank God. Oh God! Do we just kill Ivy? Oh my God, is she? I don't shoot our wife, Jesus. Um, gotta leave. Gotta save her wife. I don't know what to do though. Also, when I looked at the dead body of the axe man, nothing interesting about it. Shut up. Uh, the Joe Davis said it was the guy from downstairs, from the cellar, who we gave the brain to. That it might be possibly his. Or that might be the axe man, which I thought was kind of interesting. Or is the remake the axe man was Joe Davis? What? This is impossible. I killed him. I'm sure I killed him. I did, didn't I? This is messing with my head. Is it some strange dream after all? Hey you! I don't know how you came back to life and I don't care. Just let me be. I've got nothing to do with you. You hear me? So no chatty. Not so chatty without your axe, alright? Don't talk to me then. Just go your way and I'll go mine. Yeah, piss off, asshole. And Joey, you little shit. Look what you've done to me. What you've done to us. Dad? It's your fault that she... It's always been you. You made her do what she did. We both know that, don't we? You fucking killed her, you little bastard! Oh. Yes, Joe. Yeah. You faggot. You couldn't keep an eye on your little brother for five fucking minutes. He was always the better one. I wish it was you who died that day. I wish it was you. Maybe then? Maybe, maybe Mary wouldn't have done what she had. You have blood on your hands, son. You have blood all over you. You just hurt everyone near you. You made mother kill herself. I had to do something. If it wasn't for the drink, I'd do this, just the same thing. But look at me now. I'm running in front of the TV set, and you? You're going to kill again. So fuck you, Joe. Oh, Dad's a lot more aggressive. Fuck you. He's way more aggressive to us this time. Alright, let's see if our life can come back to life. It's time to turn it off, Joe. This ends here. I only wish I got here before you'd, well, don't want you done. Back off! I don't know who you are and what you want, but I know I must finish what I've started. I have to bring her back to life. Don't you understand? This is the only way. The only way. You have no idea what I've gone through today. I won't hesitate to shoot you. Joe, I need you to put the gun down. We're both going to get out of this room alive. I'm not your enemy. I just want to help you. I'm not interested. Get lost. Can't you see? I found her at last. I can't stop it now because this is her only chance. Her last chance. Our... So please, leave me alone. I don't want to kill you. Go away. Just fuck off. I'm afraid I can't do that, Joe. I understand that you are very confused about what's happening here. But I can explain. Just give me two minutes and listen to what I say. Are you fucking deaf? I'm not gonna blow you- 
I'm gonna blow your brains out if you don't leave me alone. Please, Joe. I'm a friend. Just listen to me. Okay. We're in a apartment building. Everyone's ready. We've been just waiting for you, Billy. The team's in position. I understand you're taking over. This is your case, Darren. I'm only here because Dr. Zellman was my friend. Hey, Dr. Z. Yeah, sure, I'm sorry. Still, I thought you might want to get this guy out yourself. We don't even know if it's him. Well, we've got the CCTV footage of him leaving Dr. Zellman's clinic and an eyewitness who saw him near the crime scene. That should be enough to put him behind bars for a long time. Don't you think? I don't know. I've got a funny feeling about this. Something's not right. Oh, is this a SWAT team? What's going on? What do we know so far about the killer? The man we're after is Joe Davis. Uh-oh. He lives in his apartment on top of the stairs. We don't know that much about him. He's never had any trouble with the law. There's no criminal, criminal record on his name, and we couldn't find anyone who would have information about him. No friends, no job, no social life, really. Dr. Zellman's secretary describes him as a quiet but bitterly sarcastic type of man. He's been seeing his shrink regularly for over a year now. His file level's missing. I couldn't find what exactly is wrong with his head. But seeing what he's done to poor old Dr. Zellman, I assume this guy is a serious threat to anyone around him. Oh. Hey, no, it was his golem who did it. I guess we'll find more evidence once we get inside his flat. Then tell me what you found on the crime scene. Billy, are you sure you want to know the details? It was... messy. It was really fucking messy. I need to know, Darren. How exactly was he killed? The killer put his head through the window. That was only the start. Dr. Zellman tried to fight back, but he was no match for him. He beat him up pretty bad. Then, he cut his face with the glass from the window. Bloody hell, Billy. He spent a good hour cutting his defenseless body into pieces. I know the relationship between patients and their shrinks can be a bit uneasy sometimes, but this one? It was like if the killer put all the hatred he had in him to, into punishing this one innocent psych psychiatrist. Our forensic team found a small saw on the crime scene. Our killer used it to cut through Dr. Zellman's skull and remove the brain. Ooh! Which is missing? Yes, the killer must have taken it with him for some reason. Hmm, why would anyone need a human brain? Who knows, maybe some weird trophy? This guy must have completely lost the plot. Well, psychiatrics like try to fix people's heads. Maybe by removing his brain, he's taken something his victim was most proud of. Something that was making his victim better than him. And a psychiatric's brain would be an exceptionally good one. Yeah. Dr. Frank Selman had a fine brain. Perhaps the, that made our killer angry in the first place. Are you saying that he was jealous? Not exactly. He just felt that taking the brain would have been a final humiliation to someone who frequently tried to fix his broken sick mind. Someone who made him feel like a worse person. Billy, aren't psychiatrics supposed to make their patients feel better about, about themselves? Yes, they are. But the only way to achieve that is to find the very reason their patients feel bad for. That includes uncovering very personal facts about the person's life. Shameful secrets, things they often don't even want to acknowledge themselves. And to share this with someone can be painful. So painful that sometimes they would deny the truth because they are unable to face it. And then they get angry. The best solution is to get rid of someone who constantly points out that there's a problem. It makes the problem disappear because their minds have already accepted the world as they see it. Madness becomes reality. They get used to it. They learn to live with it. To obtain this false image, they won't even hesitate to kill. As long as no one finds out, they are happy to live a lie. That's right. You got it, Darren. You don't really believe he's going to be in, do you? Well, yes and no. We've already established this guy's got mental problems. While most sus suspects will be crossing the channel right now to hide somewhere in France, I got a feeling our killer's not that predictable. Nevertheless, when we get inside this flat, we should be able to gather enough evidence to track him down. Psycho or not, it'd be suicide to hide in his own flat after just having murdered his psych psychiatrist. Find out in a minute. A team is waiting for you for your order to open the door. I'm ready. Let's do this. 
All right. Tell the officer waiting by the door to break it in. Then we're coming in. All right. Well, might as well. We're going in. Break the door. Thunk. Run away. Run away. Get inside. So this is where our Joe lives? But who really is this man? Is it our killer? Or is it just an average Joe kind of guy? Ha 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 ha. Awful. It's time to find out. Billy. There's no sign of our killer here. This place seems empty. But look what he did to this crib. It's completely wa wasted. Don't assume it was him just yet. Let's t it's too early for that. Alright. Fair enough. But the odds are good. My nose tells me that we'll find some clues here that'll lead us to him sooner than I hoped. My nose is never wrong. Have a look around, Billy. I need at least three pieces of evidence to make sure it's him. You don't mind helping me out, do you? No, for the sake of poor old Frank, this is my responsibility to find his killer after all. See what you can find and come and talk to me when you've got something. What are you going to do? I'll watch and learn. You've always been my mentor, Billy. But this time, like you said, this is your personal business. I don't want to get in the way. Alright. Blood stain. This... This blood has been analyzed before we can confirm if it is his or somebody else's. Alright. TV. It's broken. I can't see any clues on it either. Axe. Billy, I thought you'd know better than not to touch anything. This could be a murder weapon with fingerprints on it. Relax, Darren. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, we got an axe. Got a UV light. Is that for what? Alright, fair enough. Curtain call! <whistles> Bloody hell, Billy! What the fuck is that? It's a cat. A black cat. I thought it was a splotch! Oh my god! Oh my god! Poor kitty! There's no keys in here, right? Oh good, all my kitties are outside. Okay, good. They're not in here. Might be some fingerprints on it. Jesus Christ. It's written in blood. UV light? Nothing here. Alright. Photo. Let's look at it. Eh? Quality's pretty bad. Is it Joe? Who's the woman on the right? His wife? A friend? No, this is hardly any in evidence. Oh. Can't see any clues here. You broke the mirror, fair enough, but that doesn't mean he's a killer. Mattress. Nothing here. We'll use the U... not the axe. UV light. Mirror? No? Alright. Um... I'm not sure what it wants me to do more of. UV light it? Turn off this lamp! Oh. Does the lamp even turn on? Hmm. Nothing here. Ooh, a phone. The light is blinking. There's a message short on the answer machine. Hi, Joe. It's Dr. Frank Solomon. You haven't showed up for your sessions for the last few weeks. I'm concerned. Is everything alright with you? I've tried to calling you before. You never pick up the phone. 
I know these things. They're hard to get over and you've struggled. A lot. I don't think you can cope with that on your own. Well, I'm always there for you if you don't, if you need me. Don't forget that. Come see me this Friday. I'll be waiting. Alright. Alright, cheating time. What the fuck do I do? Hold down the curtain and examine the black cat. The message the entrance and use the inventory on the wall. On the wall? Alright. Deep down under the floor, I've hidden my fears and buried my love. Hmm, that doesn't really feel like a con continuation of the text on the other wall. No, but it sure makes more sense than the other one. Let's see. Police colleagues. So Dr. Zellman asked him to come over on Friday. That's when he was murdered. Another piece of jigsaw puzzle is falling into place. So he wrote on the wall, with blood. I'm assuming it's his own blood, as mental cases like to cut themselves. But it could well be someone else's blood. This one we should leave for a lab to find out. This is just more evidence that this guy's our killer. A cat on the wall. Strange. Should we let RSPCA know about this? We'll just focus on the murder of Frank Zelmon for now. Yeah, sure. So what do you make of it? I don't know why anyone would do this. It all seems quite bizarre. If you look closely, you can see that the cat's stomach has been opened with a sharp tool. What was he looking for in there? I have no idea, mate. But this Joe Davis seems to be completely off the wall. Unlike the poor cat. That's it. We've got three good pieces of ev evidence. By the looks of things, it's very likely that Joe Davis has murdered Dr. Zellman. Be quiet for a second. I'm trying to think. We have no time to lose, Billy. He might kill again. Soon. I think I got it. Is there a cellar in this building? Not, not, not that I know of, no. I think there isn't. I haven't seen any doors downstairs. I know these old buildings. All of them used to have cellars. Joe Davis never ran away. He's still here. See those floorboards over there? This might be the only way down. That's a bit far-fetched, Billy. How do you... I just know. That's where he is. Trust me. Hey, buddy. Mr. Black, we've just checked on the neighbors. We found blood everywhere. A couple of bodies, too. What? It seems that... It seems that everyone in this building is dead. It's like a goddamn slaughter... Slaughterhouse up there. Fucking hell, Darren! We're too late! Call for backup right now! And, Billy, we better find this guy. We better find him quickly. Alright. So, let's so use the axe on the floorboards. Oh dear. It's a psychiatric assessment written by Frank. Joe must have taken it from his office. The patient's mental condition is degrading. He seems to surround himself with delusions about his wife. This can be caused by the feeling of guilt. His wife had been known to suffer from anorexia, and his attempts to help her overcome the illness were a direct cause for their divorce. He does not acknowledge this very fact. Oh! On numerous occasions, he mentioned that she is unwell and still living with him. He was supposedly taking care of her, and she was getting worse. When talking about wife, the patient becomes anxious. All attempts of putting him back on the right track and explaining that she had left him are causing violent episodes of aggression. Oh, so Ivy left him. Lately, these attacks of anger have been happening more frequently. Hospitalization might be the only option, and it is being seriously considered. Oh... So he's very delusional. Whoa, when did his wife get big? Tom, turn it off, Joe. You have lost control, Joe. What do you think is happening? Well, it is it isn't. You're hallucinating. Your mind created all this madness because it suited it. I don't believe you, old man. 
How could... How could it be possible? Are you telling me I'm crazy? Is that so? I'm telling you that you've hurt a lot of innocent people, Joe. Whatever your reasons were, they were wrong. You did a horrible thing. Does a man named Frank Zellman mean something to you? No, I... I'm not sure. I'm not sure of anything anymore. This woman on the chair, is that your wife? Look closely. Look at her, Joe. You have a friend. You have fried the poor girl. You made her fat first, kept her down here for months, tied up, force fed by you. Oh my god, is that what happened? She died a long time ago. And now you're fucking frying her, man. You've got to let go. It's over. You can't change what had happened. You can still come out of this alive and atone for your sins. And maybe one day, you'll be able to forgive yourself. Shut up! Just- just- just shut the fuck up! I think you're forgetting that I'm the one holding the fucking gun. I can do what I want, you goddamn liar. I could blow your brains out for all I care. Yes, but what good will that do? You're not a bad man. You're not a murderer, Joe. What you've done, you've done out of grief and anger. You couldn't cope with your wife killing herself slowly, day by day. On your own way, in your own way, you tried to save her. You still are. But face it, it's too late. Let's fight. This fight is over. Nothing can bring your wife back. No. No. No, no, no. No! Time to end it all. What are you gonna do, Joe? Oh! Uh... Um, let's explore these. Kill yourself! I... I really did it, didn't I? It's all my fault. I can remember now. It's all like a dream. Like somebody else's life. The annoying know-it-all doctor, he thought he had worked me out, but really didn't have a fucking clue what was going on in my head. I kept it secret from him. I kept Ivy a secret. He thought she left me a long time ago. But she never did. I wouldn't let her. I loved her too much to let her starve to death. She just wanted to lose weight, that's all. But after a while, it turned into obsession and she just wouldn't eat for weeks. All the piece of her was dying every day. I did a decent thing. I fed her. I saved her. At least, I thought I did. I could see it now. I deluded myself. All I ever did was hurt people I loved. Why? I never wanted to. Then why? You were right. This is the end! I could never atone for what I've done. I am nothing. A worthless killing piece of shit. I must end it here and now. Oh! Bitch slap. You can't die just yet, you fucking psycho! You will first pay for what you did to Frank! You will suffer before you die! You stupid, ignorant bastard! I'm gonna smash your fucking face! I'm gonna make sure that when you die, you'll be begging me for mercy. Oh! He was shot too! What the hell happened? Who shot him? Did we shoot him? We have to run away, Ivy. They found us. You said they would. But it's okay. I know a place we can go. It's safe. They won't find us there. It's a small hotel. The kind you always liked. I think we should stay there for a while. I'll look after you, I promise. And this time... This time, you'll stay with me forever. Huh. Alright, well, that was that. Kinda, kinda wanna know about the under, other ending, so let's... See if we can... Alright, no, I'll just stop for now and we'll check out the other ending, see if there's any difference or not, and then I'll give my final review and thought of this.
Alright, be back in a second. So I was right. It was a dream after all. Probably the strangest, creepiest, most real damn, most real dream I've ever had. But still just a dream. And that man, Joe, does he exist? Did he have a dream as well? I guess I'll never know. Agnes? Are you in? Yeah, but, but go away! You're not supposed to see me! You don't believe all that, do you? Yes? No? Okay, just a little bit. But I wouldn't want anything to spoil our big day! I'm pretty sure that there will be plenty that, that'll go wrong anyway, you know? With my bad luck and all. Alright, alright. I'm going then. I guess I'll see you, well, in the church? Don't be late. I am never late. Right. Love you, darling. I know. Huh. <sighs> So, I guess my big day has finally come. So you're getting married! Time to take a shower, put some makeup on, and have a little walk down the aisle to meet the man I'm going to marry today. I feel this might actually be a good day for once. It must be true what they say. Sun always comes out when the storm is over. Huh. Okay, got kind of cut off at the end there. So that time around, Agnes is actually a real person, and we all just shared a dream. But I find it kind of weird that she keeps switching her story as to why she's wearing a wedding dress. So at the end, she is getting married. Unless it's different per ending, though, which would be interesting. So let's load up number five and shoot! Billy! They are coming for you. Kill them. Kill them all. Ivy? Billy? Are you alright? You found him? <laughs> wow, this easiest clear out of a SWAT team ever. Why is it all so fucking easy? So easy I could kill and kill again. For you, Ivy. I'd do anything for you. Yeah, double tap. Oh, he's staring at the body this time. Ah, the same, exact same thing? Okay. I'll see if the ending is the same with Agnes, or if it's actually different. If it's different, that'll be kind of interesting. But if it's not the same, or if it is the same, I'll just check out the other ending and then... I'll assume that the Agnes ending is the same as all of them. Alright, be back in just one moment. Okay, the ending was the exact same, so we're just gonna... Surrender. I give up. You're right. I must have lost it. Never meant to, but I have. Take the gun. Arrest me. I'll pay for my mistakes. I just can't kill anymore. It's over. Ooh. Well, let me tell you one thing, Joe. It bloody ain't. I've got plans, you see. Plans for you, Joe. What? Who are you? I'm just a man who's looking for justice in this fucking joke of a world. Uh-oh. Now, how do you work this thing? Is it? No, it must be this one over here. Just hang on there, Joe Davis. I'm gonna give you a taste of your own medicine. Wow, this guy's an asshole! Through and through! And then again, we kind of deserve it, but whatever. I'm gonna fry you like a bloody sausage. He'll beg me to finish you off. I must punish you. For good old Frank. He was like a brother to me. Joey. Joey. Ivy? Ives, you gotta help me. You have to do something. 
pick up the gun, shoot the bastard. Yes, Joe. Yes, my love. You have been faithful to me. Perhaps you deserve a second chance. Ives, I've always loved you. I'm so sorry about all this. So sorry what, for what I've put you put us through. Oh. So that's Ives in this one. So they just killed Billy, okay. Oh, I hope the ending's different now. Alright, but while the credits roll, I'll give my thoughts. Um, for starters, which did I like better? This one or the remake? Hands down, the remake. Um, kudos for keeping a lot of the ideas from the original into the new one. That was actually pretty good. Like, they kept the main idea, the main concept into the game. Which was pretty nice. Um, mechanically wise, though, the, the new one was a lot nicer and friendlier. Whereas this one was kind of mean and dickish and hit a lot of its items and... I guess in plain sight, but it was still hard to tell if it was something you could pick up or not. And I feel bad for cheating, but I really cannot figure out half the shit in here. I really cannot figure it out. And of course it's because the hitbox is so fucking tiny that you can't see anything. But of course if your mouse slightly is just slightly below, above, or to the side of it, you, you can't fucking see it. So, there is that issue. Um, for the characters, I liked how they explained Sophie a little bit better. In the remake, they didn't explain Sophie that well. At least I don't think so. And I kind of was confused. Like, Sophie, is she the memories of Ivy? They, what, what is she? Who is she? What's going on? But this one they explained it a lot better. They're saying that Sophie is now a part of the hotel. So that's what is going on. But, um, that helps explain Sophie's part a bit better. But all the other characters kind of felt bland. Like, I was kind of disappointed. Like, I didn't really care for Joe. I didn't really care for Ives. Agnes really sucked. That kind of made me sad. Like, none of her witty humor or commentary wasn't there. Like, she was a completely different person. Which makes me even more thankful that she's a badass character in the remake. She was so much better. Um... What else? Yeah, the music is what it is, you know. I'll accept, I accept it for what it is. Not a lot of people worked on this. I think it was just that one, the main guy who worked on it. So, kudos to him. But... I would say play the remake. It's a lot better in general. But overall, it was okay. It was okay. I that's all I can say. It was just okay. But anyway, I believe that is it. I think that's all I really had to say. Just you know, this was okay. The remake was better, and I do enjoy playing the remake. It's a lot of fun. But I believe that'll be it for this series, surprisingly enough. But don't worry, it may be the end of this series, but there's many more other series to check out, like Lorelei! I would like to check that out sometime soon, and maybe next year, on my second anniversary, play that. That'd be a lot of fun to do. And then after that, I have no idea what to do. Maybe I won't be play doing LPs anymore, maybe I'll just be fucking around. I don't know. But anyway, this has been Let's Play Downfall. Both the remake and the original. Finally, we're done. <laughs> Took me a while to finish this, honestly, but whatever. Life happens. But I am Terror the Fox. You are the viewer, and thanks for watching! And thanks for a year of probably not even watching my stuff, but that's okay because I like to do this for shits and giggles. But don't worry, other LPs, of course, are to come, as I have big plans. Big, big plans for next year. Or this year, I guess, technically. But until then, I will see you.